News 8 in the morning continues. Welcome back. It is now 6.57. Here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, the newly appointed Bingham County Coroner James K. Roberts is being asked to resign after a misdemeanor sexual battery charge was issued out of Ada County. He was served a warrant yesterday in Oneida County and then released. Court documents show there is a no contact order between him and the victim. Number two, the Idaho Falls City Council approved a new ordinance to close city parks between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. for safety reasons and to reduce vandalism. The new ordinance will also set a two-hour time limit on unreserved park shelters. If you break the ordinance, you could face a misdemeanor. And number three, newly released surveillance video shows Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie in what investigators believe was just hours before she was killed. The couple is caught on camera inside Whole Foods store in Jackson. August 27th, 2021, after leaving the store, her white van heads to the Bridger Teton National Forest campsite where her body would be discovered. You can find these stories and more on our website, localnews8.com or the Local News 8 app. Let's head to the Weather Center now. Check back in with Jeff Roper. Good morning. It is 658 and it is chilly. We're in the upper 20s to around freezing and a little bit of a breeze. We'll make it feel a lot cooler than that as we get a kick started. The cheese wagon temperature this morning will have the kids at about 34 and that five mile an hour wind will be uh, pretty stout when it's that chilly. The forecast keeps us in this high dry mode all the way into Thursday and Friday. However, the winds are going to start picking up ahead of this system that will change the way you feel about October around here with a 30 degree temperature slide. That's 32 degrees difference from uh, Jackson today into Sunday. Pocatello, mid 70s today. It'll be bright sunglasses and a coat or a hoodie. And then we get a good chance of showers mixed with the possibility of some winter precip. That chilly rain, though, will make you jump up and down. Boo at the zoo will get off to a pretty good start. You'll need coats uh, on into Thursday and Friday. Saturday may be a little wet around here. It's going to be in the 70s, though, for the rest of the week as the breezes begin to to pick up and uh, we are always happy when you send us your landmark pictures. This this may be an unofficial welcome center uh, <laughs> there. The kayak in the background. Uh, we're not sure if we are the gateway to the Pacific Northwest, but that's across from the Shakas in Idaho Falls. And then, of course, if you're in Wyoming watching us, uh, we we always love it uh, <laughs> in freedom. <laughs> Nice. Just turn at the big chicken. This is the pig pen RV park there. And of course, uh, I'm a leg man myself, but uh, it is always fun to, to see my Gamecocks represented in, oh, in Wyoming. That's awesome. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you at noon.